Hello. How are you? Great to be here with you again today. I was not uh, live last week because I was on an airplane. I mean, I was alive, but I did not do a Facebook live. So I feel like it's been a while since we've connected. And boy, have I got something to share with you. My name is Daphne Smith. You probably know that since you're watching this video already. But I do want to be sure that you know I'm always grateful for you joining in and taking what I have to share, applying it with your life, and truly living the life you were designed and created for. So our topic today is I'm talking about the gift of an extra day. And no, I'm not referring to leap year. Okay, we only get that what, every four years, I think it is. Side note, if you were born on leap year, on leap day, when do you celebrate your birthday? Those other years. You do it before, you do it after. If you know anybody, ask them. I'd love to hear. But that's not why we're here today. I wonder if you have ever wished for the gift of an extra day. Maybe you were up against a deadline. Maybe um, you were on vacation. Maybe it was time with a loved one. If you ever wished for an extra day, in the comments, please type the word wished. Then I know this message will resonate with you. And since I'm not God, and I don't have a magic time machine, what the heck am I really talking about? Well, here's where my story comes in. So I mentioned I was out of town last week, and currently I book all my own travel, and sometimes I'm a little more awake, apparently, than others when I do that. I was scheduled to leave town last Thursday, August 8th, and I intended to return home on Sunday. I think that was the 11th. So when I went Saturday to check in for my flight and found out or was told by the online message that I was too early, I thought, what the heck? That's when I realized I actually scheduled my return flight for Monday, the 12th. I did. So I found myself with an extra day on my trip. Or, before I just acquiesced, I thought, let me see, maybe the airline messed it up, right? Um, maybe we can change this. So I called the airline. They promptly informed me it would be a $200 change fee plus the cost of a new ticket, which was going to run well over $500. I very politely told the agent on the phone because, hey, this wasn't her fault. And she was able to show that that was when I originally booked my flight. The airplane, the airline didn't change it on me. So anyway, I told her thank you. But I think I'll just book an extra hotel room. I can get a really nice hotel for less than $500. So this is where the gift of an extra day and the lessons come in. I was faced with some choices. I could truly increase my costs by paying to get a new ticket, or I could simply stay an extra day and then decide what I would do with the gift of that extra day. I realized at that point in time that my mindset would determine my experience. Would I gain? Would I lose? I could beat myself up over that error, or I could spend even more money to correct it, or I could accept the lesson, meaning pay attention before you hit the purchase button. 
uh, maybe ask somebody else to book my flight or verify it. I could also appreciate the opportunity. See, staying over that extra day allowed me some much valued and appreciated alone time. It also gave me the opportunity to try a new restaurant. It gave me some space to create without interruption. So in my mind, I was gifted with an extra day, a day I hadn't planned. Charles Swindoll is known for saying, 10% of life is what happens to you. 90% is how you react to it. This extra day I was given is a perfect example. And while we can't add an eighth day to our calendar, and really if we could, mm, what would we do with that, okay? What we can do are these three things. Number one, know your priorities. When you are aware of what is in your core, what is precious to you, who and what are most important, then you're going to be able to be aware of your priorities. And when these little oopses happen, you'll know how to go with the flow. Number two, give yourself some grace. Come on now. There's not one person on this planet that is perfect. So not only do you need grace, other people do as well. If I'd gone off on that airline agent, what would that have accomplished? Nothing. This was so not her fault. Okay. So give yourself the same amount of grace that you give to other people. Don't beat yourself up. And number three, be open to lessons in life. Those oopses that turn into opportunities, those unexpected times where we can learn more about ourselves by understanding what motivates us and the root of our reactions. So what are three things that you can do in order to have an extra day, if you will, Allow some margin in your life, know your priorities, give yourself grace, and be open to the lessons in life. Now, if you're tracking, if this is resonating with you, I'm going to ask you to type mindset into the comments. I will tell you, I did a Google search and just typed in mindset. It had 160 billion with a B results. I'd say mindset has a lot to do with an extra day. By knowing your priorities, you're going to make the time for what's truly important in your life and be able to have perspective. By giving yourself grace, you're going to stop beating yourself up, which better equips you to serve others and to not beat them up either. And number three, you're going to be open to the lessons in life. Turn those oopses into opportunities. I want to thank you for spending some time with me today. And if you want to be in the loop for future videos and content release, oh yeah, we have a, an official hard launch date for a special Wavemaker five-day challenge that I'll be debuting. Be sure and visit my website, DaphneVSmith.com, and share your email address with me. In fact, I have a blog coming out later this week about integrity and the worth of your word. I think you'll enjoy and appreciate it, but you can't get it if I don't know where to send it. Remember, you were created to be a wave maker. Living stagnant stinks, and let's face it, stuck is yuck. When you, have, when you are aware of your priorities, when you give yourself grace and you're open to your oopses becoming opportunities, you are able to live a well done life daily. Until next time, bye for now and try to squeeze in an extra day.